Good afternoon, um, Mayor, City Council. My name is Beth Bardwell, and I am one of three co-chairs of the Las Cruces Coalition for Attainable Housing. And I'm joined today by another co-chair and several members of the coalition who are in the audience. Uh, we want to show you some videos made by coalition members on the issue of affordable housing. Uh, but before we show them, I would like to make a few introductory comments. Um, tomorrow is election day, and uh, we wanted to thank city council and the mayor and staff for giving voters the opportunity um, to decide whether to invest $6 million in general obligation bond funding to increase affordable housing throughout the city. And we urge voters to exercise their right to vote and to vote yes for the affordable housing bond because there is a shortage of thousands of affordable housing units for low to moderate income households, working families, to buy or rent in city limits. Inflation is at 8.2%, and the median sale price for a home is about $327,000. The price is out of reach for many longtime residents and working families. Um, and if voters were to approve this bond, the city with nonprofit and private housing developers can build housing that ordinary Las Cruces can afford, like working families and essential workers, including, including entry-level police officers, firefighters, teachers, grocery clerks, nursing assistants, child care workers who, em who earn between 60 and 120 percent of the area median income and want to live in the city limits close to work. How Housing for senior citizens and disabled veterans who want to live in city limits but have a fixed income and the average Social Security benefit is about $1,400. Like millennials, our children who are just starting out, who want to live close to family but not necessarily in our homes, um, but earn $15 or less um, an hour. And we also want to let voters know that a yes vote for this bond will not raise their city's property tax rate. It will remain at the the same rate that you see on your 2022 tax bill that you just received from the county treasurer. And with that, I'd like to show some of these videos. While you're getting that ready, I just want to, my colleagues to know that uh, we have reviewed these and this probably should have been put under presentation, so we apologize for that. So what I'm trying to say is we've cleared these, these videos she's about to show. Thank you. So on November 8th, go to the polls, vote yes for the GO bond and support affordable housing for the city of Las Cruces. What we do is we take the amount of funds for this example here with $6 million in GO bond money. We can leverage that money with other financial institutions and we can turn that money fivefold. So we can take that $6 million and turn that into $30 million. Not only that, but it produces jobs, provides for a tax base. The main goal is that it provides affordable housing for all those that need it. Oops, let's see here. So if I wanna get out, I press escape. And when I do, it doesn't. Just go there. Yeah, you okay. probably just have to click out. Okay. Back in. Okay. Thank you. I'm Daniel Sanchez, a citizen of Las Cruces. Affordable housing benefits the families of Las Cruces by offering an opportunity to not just survive here in Las Cruces, but to live and thrive and grow. Home ownership for me means having a place where you can 
set down roots and build something of your own. Something that, that has your unique name, player, special touch. I think that's part of what makes Las Cruces great, is everyone has something to contribute. You know, I think people are struggling all over the country. We have to work together to make our community stronger. We want people to have clean, safe houses. Through bonds that won't increase our taxes, we can build apartments, condos. We can help people who really need to have a roof over their heads, have a clean, safe place to live. It's going to help our economy, and that means it helps Las Cruces as a whole. I hope people will get to the polls. It's really important to be there election day. My name is Melissa Antiveros. I work with Community Action Agency. About 36% of households in the U.S. rent their homes, and nearly half spend more than 30% of their income on rent. This cost burden means many renters are unable to allocate resources for other important needs such as health care, education, and healthy food. Studies have shown that when families gain access to affordable housing, their health and quality of life improves. The GO Bond has been placed in order for us to begin a conversation and building of affordable housing. The divine says that there will always be poor and that we should take care of them. It's really our moral responsibility to share our wealth with those who don't have. On November 8th, I really encourage you, strongly encourage you, to step out and vote yes for affordable housing. Thank you very much for allowing us to share the voices and perspectives of our coalition members. Absolutely. Thank you, Beth.